What's up everyone, it's Jesse with Lawn Life and today we are gonna bust out our inner Connor Ward. You are out of your freaking mind, but maybe I am. Today I'm going to cut my grass the lowest I have ever cut grass in my life. Now for those of you that are new, I planted a 100% Kentucky bluegrass renovation last year and it turned out awesome. I've been keeping this grass at three quarters of an inch and today we are going to bring it down to a half of an inch. This is not a good idea for bluegrass. Only do this if you're freaking grass crazy like I am. I'm a little nervous about it because I've never cut that low, but like a lot of people say, it's just grass. It'll grow back. So we're definitely gonna break the one third rule today and hopefully we have some fun while doing it. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. Either it's gonna look really awesome or I'm gonna lose a ton of color and it's gonna look like crap. By the way, Connor, if you're watching, I'm the guy who put this Instagram post up last year that you commented on. Just thought I'd throw that out there. But first I gotta clean up all these maple leaf seeds that fell the other night because it was so windy. And half of them aren't even off the tree yet. I am ready to burn these damn trees to the ground, man. That rider sucks up helicopters very nicely. Way better than I thought it was gonna be. I'm kind of relieved to be honest. But yeah, that's looking super nice. So now I'm gonna teach you guys a super cheap way of changing your height of cut on a real mower. You don't need to buy a $150, $200 Accu gauge to change your height of cut. All you need is a bolt and a two by four. And honestly, all I do is I measure right here and you will see that right now I'm cutting at three quarters of an inch. Now to cut it to a half inch, all I have to do is lower this bolt down until the space between here is a half inch. And I'll show you the next step after this. There it is, half inch. You go, you want to measure from the bottom of this lip all the way to the board is where your height of cut wants to be. So <clears throat> that line should be right underneath that lip right there. So half inch, man, that is a lot lower than it was before. So now we go over to your greens mower. You don't want to tip it on its back. I want to loosen these bolts on the front roller so we can lift the front roller a little higher so we have a lower height of cut. Then once you get it close, you're going to want to put your board in here and you're going to want that bolt to slide right in on top of that bed knife. So right now I'm not low enough because it's hitting the lip of the bed knife so I have to go, I have to bring this higher. Still hitting it. Man, we're gonna be cutting off a lot, I feel like. Well, no, I went too far. You'll know you're good when this board can rest on there. So now, I'll lower the front roller until the board becomes tight. And 
and right there I can feel it's just perfect. So right there is a half inch. Now I do the same thing on the other side. Now just so everyone knows where we're starting at, we're starting at about one inch. So we're about to cut off half this leaf blade. Super short. All right, let's do it. Well, first things first, definitely losing color. That's already full. This is gonna be a long process. So I ran out of light last night, so that's why I didn't show you the cut right after. But looking at this man, it is short, super short. So the pros and cons, the pros are, it looks amazing this short and the reel actually cuts everything way better. When you're above a half inch, it folds over the blades more. And then you get these really long blades that just hang out. But here, I mean, it gets it pretty good at a half inch. There's still a few stragglers here and there. But this is the best it's been cut by far that I've ever done. So the lower you go, the better the cut is, I've noticed with these real mowers. Um, other than looking awesome, the cons are I lost a ton of color and that's one of my favorite things about grass is the color. Um, I like a dark, dark green color. So I'm thinking about hitting this with some PGR, um, some urea and some iron. And if I can keep it dark at this height, I think I'm going to stick here actually. 0.5 looks really good and I mean in the morning it looks like just flat. It looks awesome. So I am not mad that I went this low. It actually looks really good. So 
If you guys have been debating on going super low or taking a chance with cutting your grass lower than you usually do, I would say just go for it, man. You have nothing to lose. It'll grow back if you don't like it. There was a couple areas I scalped, but for the most part, it looks pretty, pretty good. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. I'll see you guys next time on Long Life.